Hi humans of the internet! It's your boy. It's Nathan Cha. So today we're gonna talk a bit about how to love yourself when you're trans. Because I feel like that's a really important subject to a lot of people because, you know, we live in a society that tells us if you're trans, it's a bad thing. And honestly, it really isn't. I mean, if you've met trans people, you know we are lovely people. Yeah, I think general, you know, like self-help tips are always really good, like, you know, when you do self-care, especially a lot of like mentally ill and neurodivergent folks out there will know that, you know, it's it's important to make sure that you're, you know, doing the best you can to keep yourself happy every day. And when you're trans, that just sometimes takes on a couple of different forms. Um, so I thought I'd just list a couple of things that help me, you know, personally feel better about myself every day in, you know, just being who I am. And maybe that's something that helps you too. Maybe, you know, you have your own mechanisms and ideas what you can do. And you wanna help others, you can put them down in the comments below. And, you know, let's have a discussion about this. Um, yeah, so first of all, you know, the first thing you should really think of when you think about living your best self is really like, knowing yourself, like getting to know who you are as a person, what makes you, you know, happy, what makes you want to exist in this world and, you know, do fun stuff, like, what's it that, that makes you, you, and what makes you unique and what makes you special, you know? I think that's a beautiful thing to think of, is like, make yourself into your first priority. Like, give yourself the feeling that you are important and you matter. And even if this world throws any bullshit your way, it's important to remember that you don't deserve that. You deserve all the best in the world, no matter what people might tell you. So, first of all, get to know you, get to know what you like and what, you know, especially when you're trans, like, what is it that makes your trans identity, like, where do you have the feeling like those are factors for you that you just feel very empowered with, you know? For example, if you are somebody who really likes to express themselves, you know, just try to make them, like, try to do that more often and, like, in as many ways, shapes and forms you can think of that, you know, you feel like this is the true you, this is authentic, this is something good that you can do. Do things that make you happy, right? Um, also something I found, self-care doesn't always just have to be you caring for yourself, it's also you making sure that you communicate what you need others around you to know, so they can treat you right. For example, making sure you tell and communicate to people which pronouns you use, which words you would like to be referred to with, you know. Um, I sure as hell haven't done that a lot because of course it's hard and that's alright, like it's super alright if you think that's a hard task for you. Just make sure, you know, you are comfortable, just make sure you take baby steps along the way and maybe get somebody to use your chosen name and get somebody to use words that make you feel safe in your body, like, oh, this guy over there, you know? Like, get them to use the specific language that helps you be better in yourself, you know? So it's all about finding sensitivity with others and making sure, you know, we all care for each other. And your friends, if they really love and support you, they will want to use your right name and they will want to use your right pronouns because ultimately what they care about is your well-being. And it doesn't matter if you're trans or if you're cis because, you know, at the end of the day we're all just people. So, you know, make sure you communicate what you feel and make sure if something bothers you, tell them. And if they react badly, they're not worth your time. It's something I've really learned, they are not worth your time. People take time to learn and that's okay. And it's alright if some people need some time to figure out who you are, who your identity is, if they didn't know that, know that before. That's alright. But if they are unwilling to or make you feel bad about, you know, your choices and your choice to be your most authentic self, then those people can just like, fuck right off. So. <laughs> Make sure you're surrounding yourself with good people. That's self-care too. Then take steps to make your body align with your mind. Whoever you are, whatever gender you identify with, you would like to be more a bit, you know, masculine presenting or feminine presenting or more androgynous and neutral. 
make steps to align your, you know, outside and your exterior self with your insides. Because that is really going to give you a feeling of belonging in your body. And it's the most empowering thing to look into the mirror and see yourself, you know? Look into the mirror and say, this is who I am. And I don't feel like I'm pretending. And I don't feel like this is somebody else, you know? So if that might be getting a haircut, wearing makeup or not wearing ma makeup, um, getting piercings and tattoos, um, like changing your wardrobe, getting more, you know, clothing that is associated with masculinity or with femininity or, you know, just mixing it up and fucking gender all over. That's, that's solely up to you and that's good because fashion and style is something that is here for you to feel comfortable about yourself and you should make sure that whatever you wear doesn't just, you know, conform with society thinks of you. It's actually you being able to be free to express your complete inner self. And it's it's beautiful when you find that style and don't ever worry about, you know, like not having a special style or, you know, not having the most interesting style. That doesn't matter. Like you can dress down as fuck. You can just go out of the house in the most basic clothings because you know what what you are inside will shine through no matter what and if you are comfortable people will see that and you will see that and you will feel that so just find something that you feel like really comfy and like if it's a really big hoodie that's just super comfy and super nice or if it's like a super low cut top and shows your chest 